Hey, what's up? I'm Moldover. I'm here with Yosh at the fabulous Faultline Studios. This is where I'm recording all the vocals for my album. Thank you, Yosh, for being here. Thanks for having me. I mean, you can talk a little bit about the history of the studio since you've been here seven years. It's rare that people have recording studios in places like this, so I don't know. How did it happen? I sort of felt like still having a dedicated space where people can get away from everything else and focus on doing their music is still useful. As you probably know, if you're working at home on your laptop and trying to get music done, like, you know, you have housemates or you have people calling or you have pets or things that get in your way and distract you. And uh, I sort of really see this place as, you know, as a bubble that people can come into and not forget about the outside world and focus on. People can do it on their laptop and spend forever doing it. But like, how do you know when you're done? Um, and the studio is often, you know, useful in that way. It's like you sitting, it's giving yourself a deadline. It's giving yourself some, you know, something. I'm coming in this day. I'm doing this work on this time. Yeah, a you know, finite amount of time and a finite space. Yeah, that's lim you know limitations of some sort. I'm not just using your uh, your space, but also your talents as a producer. Does your experience doing that extend? earlier than those seven years. I studied classical composition in college, so I mean, some of it comes from that. Some of it, I think, just comes from, you know, being a musician and playing and, have, you know, having written songs, having ideas. I feel one of my strengths from the producing side is just sort of, um, and trying to really approach it, not like, oh, this is what I think someone should be doing, but like, what is it that they're trying, I think they're trying to accomplish? And then, to be the outside ears, like, is that what I feel like I'm getting back from them? If I understand their intention and then I can sit there and listen to what's being received, I can say, like, okay, this is where you're losing me, and this is where it's coming through. And then try and guide, like, how can you be more clear? I often think of it as being like an editor for a book, but for music. Either sometimes things need to be clarified or cut out, or just they've gone through it so many times that they're, they don't have that, you know, the objective viewpoint. Well, what do you think about taking a walk uh, around the studio and maybe showing us some of the amazing facility you have here? Sure. This is Studio A, control room, uh, main control room for the live room and for the, the dead room. Our immediate console is currently in the other room, but normally it's in here, along with the D command for Pro Tools. And then all of our outboard mic threes, compressors, EQs. Two 24 track tape machines. Although when you slave them together, you lose the channel on each one, so then you get 46. I can't do 46, man. I need at least 300 channels to accurately represent the complexities of my music. <laughs> this is the dead room. <laughs> it's a terrible name for a room. But you can't hear your ears ring, but if you're in here, you would. Um, it's bad for when you go insane. Yep. Sadly, it happens. <laughs> you push singers too far, they just crack. <laughs> There's where you put your ear holes. <laughs> they need to be bigger, louder, a little more. A little more open? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Oh! Like, like, ah! Uh, like, ah! Uh, uh. This is the live room. <laughs> So called because we keep it as big and echoey as we can make it. Um, mainly for drums and acoustic instruments, so you can get a nice live sound. So this is what a Neve console looks like when uh, it's hooked over. Yeah. Well, it looks like there's a few wires in there. Yeah. The cool thing is because it's built by hand. I mean, like you can follow every wire, but, but everything does, right? When you say. <laughs> in theory. This is our second control room. We call it Studio C. So this is where you and I have been working. Yeah. This is the vo small vocal room. Mostly dead, a little bit of reflection. I'm more comfortable in the small room, I think. It's more like my bedroom. <laughs> where so much music making happens. And other things. Yeah. Ah, well, welcome back. Thanks for the tour. That was really cool. If people want to see more of your studio or get in touch with you, like, where do they go? Oh, SpotlineStudios.com. Easiest way. Spotline Studios. Dot com. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time.